Hey guys, it's me, K Marie, and welcome to my. What are my hands doing? Hey guys, it's me, K Marie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Ah. <laughs> So today I'm just about to be showing y'all how I turned some old, crusty, dusty ass knotless braids into some rejuvenated, distressed faux locks. Get into it. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can get into it. <laughs> get into it, can y'all see? <laughs> so yeah, I've been showing y'all basically how I did these locks and um, yeah. So it took me a while, I'm not gonna lie. It took me about like eight hours to achieve this look, but that's basically just because I had way more knotless braids in my hair than I had faux locks. So with that being said, I had to take out a lot of knotless braids in order to achieve this look. So on top of me taking down my braids, I also was like reinstalling these locks. So it took me about a while, but we got it done okay so that's really the important thing here um i did have about 75 knotless braids in my head to begin with which was too fucking much and for locks i have 42 so i definitely took out like about 30. i took them out because i feel like i've done this hairstyle before and it just always looks better when i have around 40 45 locks so 40 is usually my magic number for this. Based on the title of this video, y'all already know that y'all about to see me going from bum to riches. Um, I do want to show y'all real quickly what I use though. So for starters, I got this free tris, um crochet hair. And I have I've always used this hair, it's not my first time using it, but it, I will say that in LA it's kind of hard to find. Like it's better for me, honestly, if I just purchase it online because I don't have time to be driving around to a whole bunch of beauty supply stores trying to find it. So I got this hair off Amazon. Wait a minute. Ooh. Hey bitch, you cute. Um is it gonna focus? It's like not, it's focusing, it's focusing on me. Anyways, I got 12 packs of this hair from Amazon and I only used eight. The hair is gonna look like this when you open it. And I used three of these on each lock. I also used a crochet needle. And then I also use this new stuff. I had never bought this before, but I use this new stuff, which is the instant. Oh, I'm such a YouTuber. Y'all see that? I use the instant control edge and what the fuck did I say? Edge and braid gel. So I use this gel like to part my hair and stuff. The girl who did my knotless braids that I had in before, like to turn into these fox fox this is what she used so this is why i bought it because i felt like it didn't flake on my hair and it also like held my parts pretty good so yeah and then i also use edge booster because honestly i be scared to try out new edge control so i'm not gonna lie sometimes i was using this and sometimes i was using this um so edge booster is what i currently was using like on my edges but recently i have been noticing that it wasn't sleeking my shit and holding it the way that it usually would so because of that that's why i even bought this instant control stuff in the first place so i kind of was just like dibbling dabbling with both of them to see yeah that's really all you will need for this video or to achieve this look rather so i really hope that y'all can follow along with this video because when I was doing it, I'm not gonna lie. When I was doing it, I was like, bitch, this is a little bit confusing. Like, I don't want they really gonna be able to understand what the fuck you're doing. It's so hard trying to explain some shit when you're doing it. Like, I've never done a video like this before. So this is the first time I really had to give a tutorial on how to do some shit. But I'ma just say that I'm hoping for the best. I'm hoping for the best, bitch. So, um, it was something else I wanted to tell y'all though before oh how much i spent on this whole look i only spent about 80 dollars so i love that for me because when it comes to when it comes to some money i'm gonna save it y'all might as well call me the fucking dad from everybody hates chris i don't care how much money i got bitch i'm still gonna act broke still gonna act cheap still gonna find the best option 
Okay, so now that we gave you the backstory, let's just jump into this shit. So I just wanted to come on here real quick and show y'all what my hair looked like before I started doing these locks. Um, I did just wake up, so excuse you, girl. But yeah, I've had these locks for about like not gonna lie, like two months or so. So they're definitely giving old and crusty. And yeah, I'll just get into that new growth because it's definitely there. But that's okay. It's not gonna be there for long. Y'all, I'm not gonna lie, I'm cringing a little bit because I did not know that the back of my hair had grown out like this. But anyways, I went ahead and sectioned my knotless braids off because I'm gonna start from the back and work my way up. And like I already mentioned, I did have way more knotless braids in my head than I wanted to have faux locks. So at this point, before I do any lock installation, I'm just taking down every other braid. So as y'all can see right here, I went ahead and took out a braid and I'm going to basically put my natural hair in a two strand twist and combine it with the braid that is next to it which y'all are about to see right now so after you have your natural hair out of the braid i just went ahead and combed my hair through put a little of the edge control at my rule and did a two strand twist on my hair all the way down after your two strand twist is completed it's probably gonna look a little something something like this and you are going to take your two strand and you're going to combine it with the knotless braid that is next to it. So you're going to have two parts, one for the knotless braid, one for your two strand twist. And we're going to put edge control on the root of both of them and combine them into one lock. Okay, I'm going to show you all that again because I want you all to follow along with me. Okay, so let's do it again. You got two knotless braids. Boom. One of these knotless braids is going to come out because we don't want it in there anymore. Snip, snip. We're going to take this knotless braid and we're going to take it completely down. Now, after the knotless braid is completely out, it's probably going to look a little something, something like this. And we're going to take our natural hair and we're going to comb it out. Put a little edge control at the root of our hair like so like that and then we're just gonna go ahead and do a two strand twist all the way down so after we got our twist completed you're gonna take your twist and your knotless braid and we're gonna put a little edge control on the root of both and then we are going to combine those two parts together as y'all can see right now, I'm kind of like combing the roots out on both. And then I'm going to take those two, put those puppies together just like that. Yep, just like that. Y'all think y'all got it? So after you comb those two parts together from your knotless braid and your two strand twist is basically going to become one part. I'm going to take my crochet needle and I'm going to put it through that one part so that we can now start adding the lock here. All right, so after you got that crochet needle through, you're going to take your crochet hair and you're going to stretch it out because you want it to be more spread out and distressed like this before you start to wrap it around your hair because it creates more of a tight finish. So you're gonna stretch it out like that and we're going to put it on the hook of our crochet needle, close that little bad boy up and we're going to pull it through like this. Yep, just like that. Now, once you pull it all the way through, it's going to look a little something something like this, okay? We got two halves of the crochet hair with our knotless braid and our two strand twist in the middle. Y'all see that? All right, so the next part is very important. Y'all see how there's two sides of the crochet hair? You're going to take it and pull it so that one side is way shorter than the other side. You're going to take the shorter side and in your hand, you're gonna combine the shorter side of the crochet hair, the 
two strand twist of your natural hair and the knotless braid. And you are going to combine those in one hand and with the longer piece of the crochet hair, you're just gonna begin to wrap it around the other hair, just like how I'm doing right here. Okay, so you're gonna just start wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until your natural hair is completely wrapped into the crochet hair. After I get my natural hair covered, then I will start doing the distressed look. So just keep on wrapping, baby. Just keep on wrapping. And if you are not taking down any of your knotless braids, meaning that you're just adding the hair right on top of your braids, then you don't have to wait so long to start the distressed look. I was just more comfortable doing it after my natural hair was already locked away. So I just completely wrapped that crochet hair all the way down and now it's going to be time to add in a second piece. So the second piece we aren't going to actually crochet in, we are just going to wrap it the same way that we did the root. So you're going to take your stretched out crochet hair and you are going to have one piece longer and one piece shorter and with the shorter piece you are going to add it to the braid in your hand okay so you've got the shorter piece and you have your braid you're going to then take it the longer piece and you're going to wrap it around the shorter piece and the braid just like that All right, so I'm about to show y'all how I really get to distress these faux locks, okay? It's really all about the flick of the wrist. So as you can see right here, I have already started using the thumb method. So I'm basically putting my thumb and I'm wrapping the crochet hair around my thumb. Wrapping the crochet hair around the thumb creates these little loops in the hair and then you just pull your thumb slowly out little by little and it'll create these loops which i love and they give it like a little distressed lock so in order to get these little loops or the distressed butterfly locks whatever the fuck you want to call them i use this thumb method and i'm just taking the hair wrapping it around my thumb and then i'm slowly just pulling my thumb out and it will create these little loops in the lock. So as we get towards the end of our braid, I'm gonna show you how I secure the ends of the lock. So what I do is I take the end of our knotless braid here along with the end of the crochet here and I basically am going to tie these in a little knot like this. Boop! Okay, then after you have the knot secured, I'm going to take the rest of the hair and I'm just going to wrap it around that little knot. Once you wrap the braiding hair around that knot we created, it's gonna look a little something something like this. And you could leave the ends like this if you wanted. I personally did not want that much hair at the ends. I do like the idea of having some curl at the end of the lock, but that was a little too much hair for me. So all I did was took it and split it into two. And I put some mousse on the side that I wanted to have down at the bottom of the lock and the other side i just decided to wrap it back up the lock for majority of this video we've been wrapping the hair down the lock but in order to secure the ends i realized it was best for me to wrap it back up the lock um so once you pre-stretch this hair the crochet hair it does begin to stick to itself so in order to secure it all i did was keep wrapping the hair until it ran out 
um, and it just creates this seal within itself just based off the type of texture that it is. I did see a lot of the other YouTube girls using nail glue to secure the ends. I personally feel like I didn't have to do that. Um, this is how my lock turned out with me just wrapping it with itself. No adhesive. All right, y'all, so that basically wraps up this video. I am gonna go through and just allow y'all to see my technique a few more times just because I wanna be on the safe side to make sure y'all understand what I'm doing and give y'all a few more different angles to look at. So you guys can watch me install these last few locks. And yeah, let me know in the comments how you like this video, if you want me to do more tutorials like this. And thank you guys for watching. Love you, bye. Show them the final results. 